Hello? Hello? I'm gonna assume the people can hear me. Alright. Ironic how, um... The first and the last person... Well, not the first, but the last time I commentated, it was C. And now we currently have C in Grand Final. Making that run back. Damn, what can I say? He's actually just defending Westchester right now. Super carrying it on his back. Didn't get the down throw bear right there. Justin gonna go for that upper. I actually don't know if these people played. Oh my god, that counter was... I like, I really like that counter. Alright, nice auto cancel on that teleport. Or just teleport cancel. Ooh. You gotta respect that slow some point. But it's actually like minus two. Or, it's either minus two or plus two. It's really, uh, really hard to like... Contest Paulu after shielding that. What an air dodge. Oh my god, the near trading with up smash. Actually gonna... Let's see, draw first blood here. I don't know too much about how C's feeling right now and how C's run was, but I got to assume these kind of uh, kind of has to be feeling himself to some extent right now. I know he's teared through so many people right now. I'll be able to provide insight too much on Justin because I just haven't. I just, I just don't know. I know they're really good. I know, I know they're a really good Violet player. This will be very fun to see, nonetheless. Very back and forth so far. It's kind of interesting as well. The more I think about it, these two characters kind of play very, not like, not one-to-one -one similar, but like, they have a lot more in common than like, uh, than what I would initially thought. But they really like to use their aerials. Like their aerial superiority. Ooh, what a great up smash. That's actually not gonna kill though. Wow. They both have that really good multi-hit air on shield. And to just control that air. I think Paulus is a bit better because it's a bit bigger. But Milus is definitely way more safe on shield, if I'm remembering correctly. Wow. I was I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect that up to a lot of shield. Ah, um, really good uh really good kill there from C. Although he has to make something out of it right now. Yeah, Justin was just on those uh, teleport cancels right now. Oh, the shield pressure from C right now. Getting him so much damage. 51. He can lose the stock right now, but the D's been done. He's still at 169. He's still slowly getting more and more percent. 70, 74. Nothing to scoff at. Justin needs to take this out now. I think back throw my... I mean, the side view will definitely kill. Violet definitely has plenty of uh, ways to close out the stock. I didn't think it'd be that much of an issue. But sometimes, honestly, people can just be really evasive. And it is just like... It's just way harder to kill them. At a last... At a last stock for some. What an off smash. He's got to be... You gotta be feeling yourself to throw that out there like that. The charge and everything. Honestly, a very Gen-esque up smash. If I do say so myself. I'm gonna go to Hollow Bastion. I don't know if, uh... Justin has any secondaries. I wouldn't assume so. C does have the DK, but, uh... uh Violet DK ain't it. And plus, this has pretty much been, from what I know, all Paulu. So, you gotta think to yourself, would he really go DK at a time like this? He's up a game right now. I mean, Justin does have the uh, the winner set lug the winner side luxury. So he definitely has time. But up he's gonna get some more percentage. Right now, this is definitely just in stock one. That up smash, apparently not going to be very unfortunate. This shield, this platform pressure from C has been like so consistent, so good. You love to see it, honestly. I feel like platform pressure is just like a thing that people don't really mention nowadays, honestly. It's very wholesome to see C do it. Oh, yeah. Iconic down smash. Really good, uh, really good down smash from Justin there. 99%. It's playable. But at the same time, 
you kind of have to, like, earn your kill as Paulu. Like, no stray bear is going to kill right now. Maybe now, honestly. Ooh, a little bit of... A little bit of schmicks right there. It'll definitely kill now. Dash attack also might as well. Justin bringing out the whole handbook right there. Trying to get off of that ledge. They got him off. What can I say? It worked. See, now at 93%. He, he is on his second stock, but still. Just trying to find a way to kill. Very iffy auto reticle right there. Will back throw take it here? Yeah, it will. I mean... Why the kill at this percent? Yeah, there are so many things that just end that stock right there. Great anti air from Ultimate, from Giant, from oh my god, from Justin. And honestly, like, I gotta give it to Justin. He uses that up smash very well. Just like contesting, uh, contesting C in the air a lot with it. And just kind of getting that, uh, that big scoop with it. Reacting so well. Definitely keeping that air game, uh, what's it called? Their game like in check if that makes sense. See it's slowly starting to make a comeback. The reflector coming out, nothing happening though. Uh, wow, we didn't get hit by that, that side beat? Oh no! Oh no way, that is bad. Ooh. I think I will be joined here by Vulgar Kaiju. Just Whoa. in time. This thing on? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, and Justin Violet uh, takes a game in this grand finals. <laughs> yeah, one one right now. That very uh, quite literally the opposite of last game where um, C was up like two stocks to one, and then he, st he still couldn't get the kill, and he got it with like two stocks. Justin literally just did the same thing, he just kept that lead. Maybe this uh, maybe this set will be very lead orientated if that makes sense. Yeah. I think so. Both are kind of more on the campy side in this matchup, so I'd say that I mean, that's like, accurate. I wouldn't say they're like the way this set is playing. I would not say it's been campy at all. These these players have been not afraid Jeez. to try to hit each other. The double dash attack. I call it call the move. I'm surprised we went to um, Smashville, honestly. I mean, it is, um, what's it called? It is, you know, very similar to Hollow Bastion. You do have that, uh, that platform to teleport cancel off of if you are Apollo. Perhaps the height difference is, uh, why, uh, C chose it. Oh, oh what what the the what the Mr. That? Justin, what, what happened? Very, uh... Yep, yeah. okay, I see it already. It, I think, uh, C prefers this platform for, uh, teleport cancels. Yeah, might be, a. Uh, I mean, it is a platform distance thing. The, the Hollow Bastion platform is bigger. Yes. Which is why you can't do the funny Kazuya thing on the, on the Hollow Bastion. Right now. It's bigger and it's lower. Yeah. Um, Hollow Bastion um, blast zones are a bit wider, I think, as well. Yeah. I don't... I think it is definitely just the platform being more comfortable for C right there. I mean... Right now, it's up a hundred, hundred plus percent right now. Yeah. Justin. This really, this set is honestly really going to be just. He had the, oh, I think he's no, dead. He's fine, he's fine. Okay. I see an air dodge off stage. I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's super killer. He's fishing for those, like, yeah, narrow yeah, zones. He saw it just then, and he didn't, like, properly confirm it, but it didn't matter. I mean, he did have, like, the angel invincibility, so it's, like, going, Why not? Like, yeah, just throwing it out there is, like, very riskless. Oh, and again, though, he missed it. He, he actually didn't confirm it to it this time. He went for a grab. I think he just didn't realize he hit him, because that's why he shielded. Yeah. And then he realized, yeah. Very good reaction time, nonetheless. Wow, you can actually near out a shield out his violet? That's crazy. Okay. So he has to be very careful here. Okay. She hits the uh, stock. 5,000 times the charm. He was literally an F smash away from, like, you know, losing this entire lead he had going on. Yeah. I mean, Justin's smash attacks have been very on point. His up smashes has consistently caught C in the air. His down smashes have been very, like, very on hit. It's Play. such a scary multi-hit. Yeah. And I mean, he did, he did land an F smash. I think. Did he land an F smash? I'm not too sure. Yep. See now trapping a. 
Justin with these uh, explosive flames. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Justin also nared there. I think the, like the main difference between these two nares, ooh, that was a great fit. Is um, Paulo nair is like it's way bigger and it's way harder to like eat out in the air. But Blyleth nair is way less um, way less laggy and way less like way more safe on shield. And there it is. Yeah. Ooh, I thought he was gonna live there. I'm not gonna lie. That was very close. Honestly, if it were any other stage besides Smashville, I'd be inclined to agree. But I mean, that kills on town. True. Also true. Yeah, you're right. If it were any stage that weren't belonging to Animal Crossing, I would it, it, like it be inclined <laughs> to agree. But those villagers are very welcome to uh, like horizontal killers, I guess. I guess. I mean, Villager does have that F-Smash. Yeah. That is a very funny smash attack. Yes. I actually really wonder what the bands are, if we're just going to default to omni plats here. Yeah, actually, I'm very curious as well. I'm sure that, like, AC would prefer, like, another stage, like, you know, usually. Or rather, Byleth in this case. I don't know. I'm actually, like, not too confident in saying anything. I am not going to lie. Wow, landing up there into another. I, mean, I have to run with the assumption, okay, that C, like, for an offensive, like, you know, player like Justin, has absolutely gotten rid of the battlefield, right? There's no way he's letting Justin Violet go to the battlefield. I mean, like, C's shield pressure has been, like, shield pressure on platform has been, like, so good. Jeez. Wow, 53, 66. Bro was carrying him around the stage, too. He's carrying Westchester and Justin. Dribbling him. Stage. About oh, I didn't know he could ball like that. Damn! Wow, it's still going. He's at 98 percent. He's only at 42 on his first sub. He's lapped him in more. This is crazy. C is relentless so far. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Ooh, barely not gonna He's get gonna that. Live that, but Justin just doesn't seem to have an answer. Like to. Yeah. Oh my god. He can't take this game back right now. It, it just. Yeah, like, with C the way. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, I was just saying, like, C's, like, just keeping it out of his hands. Yeah, he's been all over Justin this uh, this game before, and uh, this is the game to reset right here for C. And um, if he goes in the next set with this momentum, playing like this, that, uh, ooh, That's really good downside. Yeah. That's that honestly a hard momentum killer. I am not going to lie. On it, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, it, yeah, sure, getting your shield broken never feels good. But if I'm C, I'm, I'm like shaking that off. I'm like saying, okay, I'm up two stocks to one right now. I'm, I'm, let's not get comfy, but also let's not like start letting the nerves get to us, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, Christ. honestly, maybe, maybe, it's not, maybe it's not even C losing his flow. Maybe Justin just caught a second win. That is actually what it feels like right now. Justin yeah. is definitely feeling it with like these so many correct callouts on this second stock. And he, ha he has to play like this. He Obviously, you don't want to reset this bracket when you have that lead. But you want to keep playing it. Barely not going to get that down tilt there. Ooh. See, he's struggling to close out this last stock. Ooh. However, the up smash will find it. That was that was such a good, like, uh, that was such a good, like, set of, like, plays he's made there. Where it's like, he teched the nair, and then he instantly dodged to the stage. So he didn't even go onto the ledge. He was yeah. he put him in a ledge trap situation for just getting there to off stage. Yep. What and a good reversal. Great coverage too. Ooh, I mean, like that was going to cover neutral get up, which it did, and uh, jump get up, which are two okay, pretty popular options against Palu. It also covers um just staying on ledge if you space it up a little further out. Yeah. yeah. Goes back to PS2. All right. Yeah. We're I doubt they even went for, like, for striking, yeah. Yeah, honestly, it didn't look like they did. Too quick. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh Yo, no. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of quick. Is he starting to make quick work of Justin right now? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Is he using, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. A bit of an overextension there. Is he's using, like, oh, jeez, and the down throw back here. 
can't even let me get my sentence out right now. I was saying, like, you know, he's using these explosive frames off stage to uh, force Justin Byleth into ledge trapping situations because he has to recover low because of it. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> he's capitalizing fully, too. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That was so close to killing. Wow. Yeah, we've all been traumatized by seeing Leo destroy our favorite players with that. Yeah. I mean, like, this had... Uh, this set has like been like like mostly I don't wanna say dominant by C but like mostly controlled by C but like I gotta give credit to Justin, like he's still keeping up with him like fairly well even though he's like even though he's down right now, he's still playing with like confidence. He's still willing to like try to make plays and strike first. Justin is playing like he's composed, but the problem is composure is not enough to, to like, you know, Bring this back. He needs to start, like, you know, mounting in, in like, you know, a huge adaptation against the C. And it's just not happening right now. Oh, Very unfortunate. Oh my god. That had Thayer Dodge came out immediately oh. after the, the uh, teleport cancel. Oh. oh, Jesus. This has to be so discouraging. You're playing yeah, so right. well, and it's still just not mattering right now. You're just. It's like, like you're playing well, but your opponent's just, like, better. playing better. Yeah. <laughs> You've just been playing better. Like, you. Like every mid-level player, like you know, has that experience where they're they're just like fighting, like you know, top seed Eden. They're like going through it. They are like you know, doing everything they can to like play the best they can, and it just doesn't matter because they're not good enough. It, I, I mean, I would say this is like pretty high-level gameplay. I know you weren't saying they weren't mid-level. Oh but, like, no, no, no! I am not implying these are, are like mid-level players. Far yeah, from yeah, it. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying that this is an experience like that is relatable to, like, say, a mid-level player. Yeah. And wow. Yeah, wow. That up smash paying dividends. Sees a damn monster right now. This is the seat there was that I love to yeah, see. There was discourse, like, like you know, the other week I, or so about how, like, pa or rather this week, like, you know, that Palu's falling off, that, like, you know, oh, it's more likely that a Incineroar is going to, like, <laughs> win well. a, of, like, Palu. And, 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 and like, you know it, they're full of those crap. Like, you know, it's completely reactive behavior because, uh, like, you know, someone did a good run with Incineroar, which, you know, props to Sky, Jay. It, but, like... That was an insane run, to say the least. Probably one of the best, like, smash runs, I dare say, ever. But people, like, are just so quick to forget, like, you know, what this character can do. And I'm glad to see, like, you know, players like C still, like, showcasing just how monstrous this character is. I feel like a lot of the discourse on the Paulu was, like... Paulo's a very like one-to-one -one character where it's like if you um, if you read the interaction, you win, and like it really does show like a player's like skill level level pretty well. It's just that Paulo players like were saying how like other characters just like can just like cause you, you or like keep you out as Min Min indefinitely or like Sonic, <laughs> like. I mean, regardless, Kyle is, he is one right now. He's, he's playing one to one and he's playing really well right now. Like, what can yeah. I say? Yes, I, yeah, see, it's just, I'm about to take this, like, you know, first stock again. Although Justin's keeping up much better this time. In fact, he could take the, the first stock right here, but C just straight up gives him the toes off hook from the ledge, sends him right back to uh, center stage. Ooh. Oh no! Ooh, he's been looking oh. for it all set, and now he finally found it. <laughs> oh, Ooh, he was my ready. God. He's Nothing is working for Justin here, man. Yeah. Even still, uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, right, right. This is a very good, like you know, start for yeah, Justin. Yeah. Still, like comparatively to like how the last few games have gone, this is much better for Justin. So. Yeah. He this can, is definitely like so competitive right now. Yeah, this is definitely still like doable for Justin. Now, right now he did just take a big chunk of damage. He's Ooh. struck at the ledge, He's not, and he's not able to find like, you know, uh, an offense. Kind of an ill-advised like down smash at the ledge there, but. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, when Justin has pressed like that smash button, like they've been pretty accurate. Every, every, every king misses his shots now and then, you know? Like, like that was so close to hitting. Like, can you really fault him for, like, missing there? That was so close. I feel like his reads in those situations have been very on point. I mean, it's still... What? Not, now, like, as we were talking about, like, th this game, like, being, like, a good start for Justin comparatively, C goes ahead and just straight up does a zero to death. Like, and not, like, yeah. you know, one of those quick ones. No, a, like, a long agonizing long. zero to death that, like, you know, 
you are just Ooh. repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly getting outplayed. It's so demoralizing. I'm a fan of that tilting shield. Yes. I just didn't want it to go unnoticed. I'm sorry. Of course. But it's like, sees like ledge trapping and advantage. They've just been it. Like, he's kept Justin in like this tornado. Once he gets in, he just can't get out. He's just getting vortexed. And it's not even like it's happening quickly. Like, he's playing so patiently. He's playing so reserved. He is ready to just, like, to just anti air you, to just up smash you, to just throw everything out and, like, either, like, net neutral and, like, lose nothing or just win. He's just ready. He's just playing these situations so well. Yep. I do have to say. I think Justin's starting to crack. I'm noticing, like, you know, some, of the, some like, missed punishes now. Uh oh, like some like just straight up like missed inputs, like you know missed execution. I feel like Justin's like just starting to finally like kind of break down under from like getting smothered like this by AC. Like I I feel like he's it's been like shocking how long he hasn't in, in done that up until this point. I feel like I mean for the most part like I do agree there are some like blips and blaps here, but it's like it doesn't feel like he's lost his confidence. But that bear. I'm not saying he's lost his confidence. I feel like he's starting to, like, he's starting to struggle to, like, you know, um, keep his um, composure to the point where, like, you know, he can completely, like, uh, control his hands, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like I, I agree with you, but it's just, like, I was just saying that, like, even though he's, like, even though he's, like, flubbing every now and then, it's, like, he's still yeah. playing. He's yeah. still playing, though. I'm saying, yeah, it's de like he's definitely still in this, but it's like you can see that it's like starting to begin, you know? Yeah. Back on Hollow Bastion. Potentially. But, I mean, every game is potentially the last game of this tournament at this yeah. point. He's up 2 right. 0. He's won the last, what? Four, I think? I think another big, like, yeah, struggle. He won game three and he won game four of last set. So he's won the last four sets. The four, last four games, my bad. I think another big struggle for Justin Violet here is that C has been using like teleport and like, you know, just a uh, Palatel's general mobility super well to like stay out of like, you know, uh, by, uh, Justin's like advantage state. Like he has played, C has been playing disadvantage state amazingly. So none of like, you know, the advantage state that Violet is like infamous for, like, you know, uh oh, Justin's like advantage state in particular is great. Like his punish screen is great, but I feel like C's just played it so well to avoid like, you know, even when he makes mistakes, he minimizes, like, you know, the punch. Like, yeah. He really softens it, and oh my god. Speaking he, of punch, oh my god, that back there, just a, just a jawbreaker, like, damn. Yeah, oh. Broke his nose with, like, the shield. But, Violet does, Justin does, like, you know, respond in kind. It's yeah. even right now, but it, we've had this before, with, like, yeah. last game. Like, like, C is on pace to just actually just win this game right now. Like, even though it is even, like, He's just like won these situations like pretty much like 99% of the set. Justin, Only other than like game two has Justin really. Justin cannot get off of the ledge in, in a lot of these situations, unfortunately. It, I feel like he's played too aggressively, unfortunately. Honestly, I I kind of agree with you. Yeah, he, I feel like he's like fixated way too much on pushing power back instead of like maybe trying to like, you know, warm his way back to mid stage so he has more room to move around because he just is not winning like you know these like you know uh scraps i mean like he like you say that and you're right and like he legit picked like four defensive options there and cut and she just still covered them all like oh there it is wait 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 yeah no okay justin's still in this he's still in this this wait, isn't wait, over wait. till it's over this may be the this may be the layout at home yeah, okay. But the layout at home is still pretty oh. good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Even still, he is, like, he is still struggling a bit to, like, you know, get a lot off of it, but he's keeping it competitive. Yeah, he, he is, is keeping it very competitive okay. right now. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a back air. This is really bad. This is crucial. This is really bad. He could die right here, but okay, okay. Okay, okay, he got, I mean. He's back at ledge. Oh, no. Oh, no, no jump. Oh, no. Okay, he's going to make it back, though. Oh, no. <gasps> I actually thought he was going to get dared again, or he was going to get. Excellent. <laughs> Yep, that okay. was so crucial. Justin okay. needed that so badly to stay he in this. He actually found that yeah. out of what I was like. That was a crazy find. What the heck? What? A that was a crazy bounce find. back. Yeah, yeah, like that. 
fantastic job uh, of like coming from a uh, Justin keeping his composure long enough to finally find a game like in especially one where like you know it was looking grim like he managed to like quickly like take back socks sure but anyone in that situation where they're like you know suddenly facing like oh shit I am like down an entire stock like zero to zero but oh like one less head and it's like game me. game three of like brands you got reset you lost the last four games like it just like the list just keeps piling on on why like yeah. that was so clean and these parries starting to um show more and more confidence but oh uh, but C is just as confident Jesus. as he was last game he's not even letting it face him at all you gotta keep going against this monster of a polo player you know like when you got mutes saying watching C oh. is like amazing like you know you know something's cooking here with this player you know something's cooking here with this player it, and like the thing is you see that up smash at ledge right and like you are it's so easy as a viewer to just say wow stupid why did you like neutral get up into that you have to understand like that that is not actually reactable for or justin when like he otherwise has to like you know play I mean, against, like, sorry go on he has to otherwise like you know play with the idea that okay if I roll there is a good chance he's gonna just send me right back away and I'm, it's just gonna rip, rinse and repeat until oh I am like dead again yeah he's, he's actually like he's just been timing these up smashes like perfectly I think he's hit like what five four up smashes out of like six or something like on ledge like as insane Let these dash ahead. attacks like, wow like if you told me that Justin won last game like Damn! Oh, really? Oh my like, God. no, no shade to Justin, but like, like the momentum is crazy right now. Like, what can I say? Like, it, yeah, you're what? Like, it, like from that, like, if you were to out of context take that interaction just now, oh, stupid! Why are you not like doing any like you know, get up attacks or something? Oh. Like, he, this conditioning from C to just make Violet go for like the easiest options to punish is insane. All right. And now Justin Bile down two stocks. I, I do wanna I do wanna harp on that uh, down air that Justin barely missed there. If he got that, if he got that, like that was so close to landing, and that definitely would have broken his shield. Yeah. Like damn, I just I just gotta say it. Like he had it there. He was so close. He was just a little off. And now C is just. He has this man scared. Yeah, no, he, he's actually. He ran up, stopped, <laughs> and then grabbed. Like, this is, that, this is the amount of psychological damage that is being done. Forget oh, the, the percent that, like, is on the screen. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, what a great tech. <laughs> Damn. It was oh. a great tech. Oh. Just, but I just don't feel like it even matters. Like, all this, like, all these reads that, like, are just, like, piling on. Like, as Justin Violet, at this point, you have to be wondering, is there anything I can do that this man won't call out? Is I this mean, man, like, like, not going to read the next move I do? That's it. He just didn't, like... I, I feel like... I feel like the thing that set was, like, wasn't that, like, C just had a read on him entirely, like, in neutral or anything? It's just that, like, once C got him on the ledge, good luck. <laughs> it was, like, just, oh it was just good God, luck. Because, like, like, the way, like, like, they played, like, they played like a fair bit of neutral and like Justin would get his hits in and sometimes he would really get his hits in. He would really find those kills. But like the moment C put you on the ledge, yeah. it and, was over. Yeah, and I'm talking about like how C is in like Justin's head. I want to make it clear right now. I got ledge trapped there er, er, for 30 minutes. You Everyone got, got trapped, trapped there. there. Everyone like, got ledge trapped there. I don't care who you are. This is C defending Westchester over NJ. And I think a little bit of a Stony Brook as well, honestly. Yes. We got we got Cody, we got a, a couple other players as well. Yeah, that's gonna be it from the D.